Hello second grade, this week we are going to be exploring the app Just A Line. This is an app that was actually created by the artist Chantel Martin because you know, she likes to make and share and create in any way she can and she has gone into the world of AR, which is augmented reality. So what is augmented reality? Well, augmented reality is an interactive experience of the real world environment that is then enhanced and changed by technology generated content. So we actually already know of a really good example of this. Who's played the game Pokemon Go? That is a perfect example of AR because it relies on our outside world in order to interact and actually play the game. So that's exactly what this app does is it relies on augmented reality and it creates, this, it creates an alternate space for artists to create. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna watch a little demo on how to use the app and then we're gonna be able to create our own augmented reality art piece. When you first open the Just Align app, it'll ask you to access the camera. Make sure you click OK, because without access to the camera, it will not work. This app works by, as you move around, it moves with you. So the way that you actually draw is you can place your finger anywhere on the screen, and you can start moving and drawing. And then it saves it. Pretty cool, right? If you want to draw something 3D, you move with your line. If you want to draw something 2D, like just right, you stay in place. and then it keeps it flat. Things, a couple of basic tools. In the bottom left-hand corner, you'll see that you can change your pen size. So I'm actually gonna make it the smallest so you guys can really see that difference. See? So you can make it very, very thick. You can make it thin. Um, if you, for example, say you want to step back and take um, and get rid of your last step, you can tap the arrow at the top left. If you want to clear your whole drawing, you can tap the trash can at the top. So since this piece is 3D, in a normal 2D piece of art, we are used to going up and down, left to right, but only on one plane. In 3D, you really wanna think about doing the same thing, going side to side, up and down, but you also need to go through the space. So let me show you an example. All right, so I got one across my big space. Now I'm gonna go back the other way. I'm actually gonna see if I can go through the loops I just made. That's so cool. Okay, so you wanna think about right now, I do kind of have, you see how I kind of have 3D because from this angle, I have side to side as well as up and down. But you wanna make sure you're really going through. So maybe I step over here and go back around the other side and step through again. You really want to, especially when we have 3D work, take a step back see what you are missing and what you could add. Anytime you want to make a new line, all you have to do is lift your finger off the screen and it'll start a brand new line. So now you got variety within your work, thick lines and thin lines. You can choose to either animate a whole space, say for example, this whole hallway, or pick another object, smaller objects that you can work around. Um, in one example I'm gonna show, it's gonna be the whole space where I utilize the empty space that we see here. And in the example I show in the end, that's utilizing one object and really building around that. You also wanna look at what objects are around. Maybe you could incorporate that into your artwork. So say for example, I already know, I wanna do nice, lots of big curvy lines going all the way down the hallway. Yeah, cool. Okay, so also you wanna look around and see what maybe I wanna incorporate other things that are already sitting in the hallway. Like here's a sculpture my brother made. Maybe I want to add some hair. Maybe I want to, ooh, Indy. Excuse me, Indy. Indy, do you wanna become part of the art? I would recommend thinking about stationary objects, like if you have a cat that likes to nap at a certain part of the house and you wanna incorporate them into your art, that would be a great idea. But definitely if you have moving objects like these two, cause she will follow me wherever I go, um, it may be more difficult to include them in your artwork. And don't forget, right now I've only been practicing lines, but you can also write words. So maybe I write home. I'm being fancy writing cursive. <laughs> so I'm gonna write home. Maybe I do shapes. Here's a circle. Here's a circle. Here's a circle-ish. <laughs> 
Once you are done with your drawing for the day, here's how you're gonna capture it. You can always take screenshots by tapping the home and the side lock button. Or there's a really cool thing that's already built into this. You see this red, this button with the red dot? Once you tap that red button, you are then able to record and walk through your artwork. guest to talk about safety while creating today. Hi Clark the Shark, how are you doing today? Fantastic. Awesome Clark, well the stage is yours. What advice do you have for our little swimmers as they're creating today? Well, as a big shark, I need to be aware of my body. I may be very excited to go see my friend Bay, the manta ray. However, I need to be aware as I swim through the ocean. I have to watch for other fish so I don't knock them over as I swim by and also not break any coral along the way. Thanks Clark, we appreciate your advice. You're welcome. <laughs> so today second graders make sure we're not jumping onto furniture, we're aware of our surroundings and you're taking care to walk through your environment. Have a fantastic day! <laughs>